Hello, in this quick tutorial, we will analyze the uh, method of calculating earned value using milestone weightage method. So just a review, a milestone weighted, uh, weighting method assigns budget value to each milestone. You need to wait till activity completion prior to earning budget for that activity. So you cannot claim any milestone credit for an activity which is still in progress. You will have to wait for the activity to be completed. Thus, a careful consideration must be given in planning for milestones. Milestones corresponding to key accounting periods uh, could be developed. Uh, so uh, here is an example which we will take to understand the earned value analysis using milestone method. So you can see here dates of key milestones are specified, uh, which are indicated uh, through the diamond. Uh, so the first milestone is start of the project. The second one is site inspection completion with a date of 30th of January. The phase one completion is on uh, 3rd of November and phase two completion by 29th of March. So the diamonds indicate the uh, key milestone dates, whereas the earned value at completion of each milestone is indicated in this column over here. So you can see the first activity is just a milestone activity without any earned value associated with it. Whereas uh, for the second activity, there is uh, a earned value of $100,000 uh, uh, for the uh, uh, phase one completion. There is an earned value of one hundred and fifty. $1,000. Now, assuming all activities begin and complete as scheduled, the question number one being asked is, can you determine the earned value as of 31st of January? Now, here you can see the project started on 1st of July. So the start inspection milestone has been completed, but it has not any value associated with it. And the site inspection completion uh, has a earned value of 100 uh, associated uh, with it. There are no more milestones completed uh, through the January, uh, but the site inspection has been completed. So current earned value for the period ending 31st of January is $100,000. Because it is the first month for the control account, the cumulative earned value is also $100,000. Now let's uh, look at the second period, which is towards end of February. So the question asked here is, assuming all activities begin and complete as scheduled, can you determine the current earned value and cumulative earned value as of February 28th? So here you can see no additional milestones has been achieved. We have done some work on phase one design, but mind you, phase one is not yet completed. So we can only take uh, the credit only once milestone has been accomplished. Since there were no milestones scheduled or accomplished during the February period, uh, we have no earned value other than the uh, uh, that achieved at end of the January period. So the uh, earned value uh, in this period is zero, whereas the cumulative earned value by end of uh, February is 100, which is basically achieved towards uh, end of January. Right, so let's move on to uh, another period. Uh, assuming all activities begin and complete as scheduled, can you determine the uh, current earned value and cumulative earned value as of March? So here you can see um, by end of March, we have accomplished two milestones, uh, the phase one completion with a milestone value of 150. So we have a, earned a value of 150 here and phase two completion has been completed as well, giving us uh, another earned value of 200. So the current earned value for this period uh, is 350 and the cumulative earned value by end of March uh, 31st is 450 accomplished by achieving all uh, of the uh, above mentioned uh, three milestones. So this is uh, a brief uh, overview of earned value analysis using milestone weightage. So the key advantages of this technique is that it requires objective measurable mi milestones, which uh, most customers or project uh, managers anyhow do prefer. But uh, a key disadvantage 
would be that it does not allow partial credit for in-process work and therefore it is very important to ensure a careful milestone planning perhaps corresponding to each accounting period to ensure that the contractors do not go out of business because of a poor cash flow.